hard day. Anyways, it's very early in the morning. Well, the market is open, so it's about 9.30. Yesterday I couldn't uh, start this painting. I tried to, uh, but it was just too dark. We had rain. It was Sunday. We canceled um, swimming and paint because of the ice conditions that we would pr probably get, but uh, this is what I'm going to do. There's two variations. This is the original shot. This is a springtime shot of our deck pond. The lilies aren't out yet, but the lily pads are um, kind of red, reddish color, red, orange, gold, which I like. Um, and then I went into Photoshop and I monkeyed with it. Um, and this is what I've got. One is a little more violet, but they're basically the same. There's not too much difference in them. And I like both. And um, So what I'm going to do uh, with this is put silver leaf in. And I'm only going to put the silver leaf in on the, um, the lily pads and the fish. And maybe not all of the fish, but a couple of key fish. Um, you can, I'll put these up so that you're going to be able to see them uh, as they go. Uh, I'll be a little bit better about that if I can. I've uh, simplified the editing process, but in that I've learned uh, not to adjust the color or a lot of things that you can do with the camera. I just leave the camera alone, let it run, and that seems to really work. So uh, I'll do a video on that one day, but what I've learned about this video process so, this is kind of the uh, first clip of this film. This is going to be uh, canvas, uh, well, this will be canvas 1366. Uh, it's going to be uh, another 44 by uh, 50 canvas. All right, so. Um, good question on the brush I'm going to use, but. I think I'll use a take my medium. I'm going to work directly off my uh, tabletop, which has a glass top on it for this one. And I'm going to put out the first color in the same sequence I always do, or not sequence, but place. And I've got the silver leaf, I've got the griffin white uh, that I'll use to actually adhere the uh, gold silver leaf to. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually do the silver leaf. And uh, I'm going to use the, this one. And I'm basically going to do kind of an outline placement, and then I'm going to come back and then silver leaf, and that's basically what I'm going to do today, is silver leaf. <laughs> and when I silver leaf over, when I start to paint over the silver leaf, the majority of it is going to be uh, very transparent paint. Um, a lot of the colors that I actually use are transparent. If I add a little you know, mega lip to it, they get even more transparent. So that's what that's going to happen there. I didn't do that on the last one. Um, and um, once I have the silver leaf in, and basically I'm going to do my drawing with the lizard orange, which is something I always kind of do for some reason. I, I like it because it's transparent. And, um, and I'm just going to start. I think this is in about the right spot. So I'm going to bring this down to eye level as long as I keep the uh, canvas and where I'm working at eye level. I don't have to uh, adjust it too much. So the first placement I'm going to do is this one. I'm going to kind of work up. And I'm going to basically put it into shape and then when I come in I'll put the silver leaf kind of radically but I'll put it in like that or I'll put it in. And then I've got this other leaf. It's a little 
spacing and then I've got the other one right there. This now has established my scale of this painting. Um, so I can literally, um, and I could, could do this very, very fast. I mean, I could literally zip through this. So I'm gonna bring this over, catch the right side first. So I got one over here that's just kind of like that. And in this case, you can see a stem. And uh, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna come get these two. This is probably gonna start to al alter my, uh, how much I'll get in here, but I'll leave anything out that I don't want. I'm gonna go ahead and make these darker so that you can see them. Uh, it's just a matter of adding a little more of everything. Okay, so now you can see them a little better. Uh, the first painting, uh, 1365, is um, on YouTube now, uh, except the last, the last is being uh, processed by them and it'll be uploaded here uh, pretty shortly. So in this one I lost one of these, but I'm going to come in and just create an outline at this point of this basic shape, and I'm going to silhouette the whole thing. Um, and I can always come in and add uh, silver leaf at any time. So it goes up in. So this will be painted with regular paint. And it's a little off from here, so I'm going to come down. And whenever I can get into this area is what I'm going to get into this area, and I'm not going to worry about it. Bring this over like this so you can see it and get it more down. And I'm going to come down make this shape right there. I want to maintain that shape. Okay, because that's going to be blue or violet or whatever it is. But that's an important shape as far as I'm concerned. The rest of it I'll adjust to fit. Like these are important shapes. This is another one. I want to make sure that this goes up and comes out and comes in. And I can even go in more here, like that, and come back. Then I'll lose whatever I lose. Don't care. I'm going to move this over. There's a single up here. So I'm going to put that single in like that. And there's a connection. And then there's a little, um, well, I'm going to say one that's kind of halfway coming out like this. So that's a specialty. And then here's another little guy. It's kind of li almost lined up with that. I'm not going to worry too much about it. And I'm going to come over. And I'm going to put another one of these little special guys in there. These are ones that are just starting to come up. I'm not going to worry about the fish at the moment, where they are, because they can be all over the place now. So this is the next movement that I'll just um, block out where I could probably, this one's not as complicated as the other one. The other one is very complicated. I mean, it's just a bloody nightmare. But I'm going to go ahead and make this like that, come around, and that's not going to be the, and then there's another, uh, let's see, I'm going to go this way, I think, there's another one, comes around, a few bumps, and I'm trying to keep the same basic scale that I've got going over here, um, not that hard to do, I guess. And I want to keep that arrangement there if I can. So I might just start to bring this, this one down. And one little outrigger right there. Like that. Come up. And like that. 
So I've got kind of a shape. And this next shape is like this. It's a movement this way. So I'm going to put this one up at the top. It's got a little... And there's another one. And then there's another one. It's a little bit smaller. That's the oldest one next and the tiniest one. All right. One more stuff. Now, so I got, yeah, this is about, about right, actually. So there's, I'm going to put a specialty one right there because there's some movements like this that I want to keep. These are buds coming up. Then there's this one on this corner, like so. The nice thing about all of this is I can adjust these shapes as I paint along. Now this is that one right here. It's got a shape like that, like that, and then there's one real kind of close to it, right? It's going that way. There are two major, three major uh, lily uh, plants in this. One of them is not shown, or it hasn't come up yet, or is coming up with the other that could be right there. That's one, two, three, maybe. It took them long. This last year, it took them long, longer to uh, bloom for some reason. They normally bloom pretty quick. And then this is another one that's kind of like that. So I've got this. And then there's kind of another one coming off that. So that's kind of a nice thing there. I like that. And I could add another one there if I want. Or some more of those. I like those things. Now, this is one of those too. And then there's one there. So now, I'm going to come back and kind of just play with these fish a little bit. Not much. Because I'm not too interested in that right at the moment. Now I've got this one that I put in. I've got this major fish. In my mind, this is the... Uh, the guy, or the girl, or whatever it is. And that's the shape. And then I've got a counter move like that with that fish. And there, like I said on the last painting, there are about 50 uh, fish in this pond. It's not very big either. It's kind of amazing. I'm going to put this guy over here. And um, got this. I don't get quite as much there, so I've got one. I've got a counter one. I think I'm going to put in right here. Got a tail going like that. These fish have beautiful tails, and uh, they're all kind of. I'm going to take this guy. He's going out, not quite out of the canvas. And then there's a one coming off, and there's one. Kind of going like that. So I'm putting more of than I thought I would. I'm going to come over here. And there's one right here. Just barely showing right there. I'll put a little tail on so I'll know. And there are different depths. Now, I've got one coming off of this, which is kind of like that. And then one going underneath which is about like that. And then there's a real swoopy one right there. Alright, now there's another one right here that has a tail that comes up like that and, and dives in under this one. So this is the one that's on top. 
And then there's probably something there and there, but I don't, I'm not concerned about those. Now, in this, uh, let me go back up to this cluster. There's two things that I, three things here that I notice. These are specialty things. And um, specialty leaves in that they have something that's special about them, obviously. So there's that. This one right here. And it's right here. And it's a thin one. And it's a shadow right there. So I'm going to put the whole shadow in. I don't necessarily need to silver leaf that part. Then there's one kind of right here. I think that's where, in fact, I'm going to put Well, maybe he's right here. It's like this. It projects out. And then there's another one kind of like right there. Like that. So there's, looks like a face. Then we've got that one. There's another one right there. Right there. For the most part, I don't really have to silver leaf those particular ones. Uh, and then we got our fish there. So, and then there's one. Looks like there might be one right there. But we'll worry about him right now. Or her. Whatever it is. Alright. So, let's bring this back. Get this lined up with the camera. A bit. So, you can pretty much see the uh, overall affair here. There's a movement that comes down this way, and then goes up this way. And then the fish pick up the movement, like down this way. Then they're swirling around, coming around. So this thing has really uh, nice movement to it. A couple of features. We've got a big blank negative area coming all through this. The last canvas didn't have a lot of negative to it. It was kind of a, it went a little further in Photoshop than what uh, this one did. This one I was just monkeying around with uh, colors. But I like it. Um, and I'll put these in and probably up in a corner or something like that so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And um, anyway, we'll go like that, put that up there. I think this is up where it should be now. Okay, I'm going to cut this film. clip was pretty good. It's working. Everything's set. Wipe is good. Now I'm going to go to this uh, silver leaf and um, uh, let's see where it is. Where I was last. All right. I'll go through a lot of it on this. And um, I think I'm going to use a brush just to hold this down. Any kind of air just makes it go. Alright, I'm going to add white. The griffin. Mostly it's going to be thinned down with um, I'm just going to put it right in there and just keep on going with it. There we go. And I think I will start um, out right here. So I'm just going to cover this over like that. Doesn't matter what color I put under it, by the way. Um, it will uh, be silver and be hidden. So it's not anything to do with color other than the white is a fast dry. Um, so you can kind of see, I'm just, I'll let it set up a bit, but not much. The dog's chicken is being cooked for their breakfast. And um, yeah, let's see, might as well just go this way. Next, I'll hit these two. So wherever 
this is not wet. Uh, the uh, this leaf won't stick to it here. And I'm gonna take it around on this case. These will be floater frames. Or, well, still haven't gotten that custom order of frames from JFM yet. That link is below. You have to be a wholesale resale number. Artists are wholesale. Creative wholesalers. Let's put it that way. If you like to use that word. Alright. I'm going to... Ah, I didn't want to use, well, maybe I will. I'm use this little brush. The only thing I really... Um, let's pick this up. Looks like it's kind of stuck onto something, but anyways, I'm just going to use this to hold it. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to blow on it. And it's this. All right, well, I'll just stick that there. And that's all there is to it. It's remarkably simple. Let me get down to it. See, it's not sticking on the uh, that, but I can push it down. And uh, there we go. And we'll go to big sheets. Big sheets will be easier. as much to get this loose. Now it's got a little corner stuck on it, that's all. So this is a full sheet. I'm just going to go ahead and take that full sheet like that and put it on there. Blow it down. I'll take the excess. I'll just stick it on over here. all of the damn place. Alright, let's take this one. Stick it right in there. And I'll leave this one. So you can see how well it goes on. I can take my finger and take out the air bubbles carefully and do it. Doesn't have to be perfect. A lot's going to happen to it. And I could use a little piece here if it'll work. It will, but I'm going to need another piece. You don't have to have a 100% filled either. All kinds of stuff happens, but okay, you can pretty much see how that worked much easier than you'd think it would be. I'll come back to that. Let's take that piece and stick it there. Okay. Now, might as well go ahead and do this one right there. There are 25 sheets of this in here. And, uh, I don't have to. Uh, this is going to work up. Move the air out carefully. You can let this set for a while, even, and do it later. Uh, you've got a lot of play time with this. Okay. I'm good with that. Okay, a little easier than I thought. Certainly easier than the last one. I got these two. There we go. Now it's coming out. I'm just going to go ahead and cover that area. And do the same. Might just have the right mix here with anything else. Yeah, let's put that there. 
when I come back in you'll see how, how I'll deal with this but basically I'm not going to deal with the, the scrap stuff too much I'm more interested in it, uh, adhering to that basic shape and so you can see that that would be an easy area I just have to pile it in now I just need a half a sheet here I'm just going to make a half a sheet and I'll put the, the curve to it there we go and I'll take that little bit and uh, let's see if I have any big piece here I'll just stick it right there and heck with it all right so that whole deal is pretty much in there and waste chicken just bell ring for the chicken so I gotta whoops gotta go get it there we go all right I'm gonna stop all right so a little brace work gives me a chance to see it at 20 or 30 feet and I'm gonna come back in and um, take that other piece whoops I kind of got into something there. I'm just going to go ahead and put like that and wrap it around, break it, and catch the other part and wrap it around. And now I've got pieces. And I may put these pieces in a pile and I can use them for fill. Okay. this area and let's say I need more paint so I think because we can see I'm just going to keep adding the orange to this because it, it allows you to uh, see the area and it also allows me to see it uh, so I'm going to put this in like this and I could probably make a lot of this but um, so basically all I have to do is follow the edge and get more of this this will dry probably overnight underneath the uh, leaf not sure exactly why but it does Maybe because the um, the dryers that I'm using to make it activate and dry. And uh, so I'm just going to set this down a little bit. And you'll notice how well this um, counterbalanced easel works. Um, <coughs> was one of the best investments that I made as a painter. I did it because <laughs> I've got a little age on me. So if I ever had to sit and paint, um, I could do that with this easel. Wherever I am with this easel, uh, I can always bring the canvas to my eye level. And I can do that with a really big canvas because this pit down here uh, goes three feet which will take that much and then the Hughes people made the easel so that I could uh, I could put up a 10 foot canvas on this thing eight foot tall the museum director once told me if you want to get their attention paint big Bye. 
guys. Come on. I'm gonna catch this whole thing. Put some more white down. Colors are actually pretty accurate on this uh, this film or the video, which is why I've not messed with the uh, altering it and uh, found that to be problematic and time consuming. Redundant, I guess. Anyways. Catch the top. See how cool it is? Yeah, get around. Come over here. I also uh, killed the music, adding it to the video because it it's really adds uh, a lot of uh, memory. It takes a lot of memory to put the music on this, so I put it in the background. And I forgot to uh, turn it on when I uh, started up again, but that's okay. Come around like this. And I'm going to leave that feature window alone. I'll deal with that separately. Makes me, these become biomarkers or areas that I can um, set my scale and find where I am on something. And there are also visual features in the end that are rather important. And let's see. Like that. This is Centurion Canvas from um, Jerry's. Link is below. Um, it's smooth. Close um, double prime to oil, and a great painting service. I have been using it for God, eight years, nine years, and I've never looked at another canvas after that. There's just no point in it. When you find something that works for your process, you stay with it. And this has not ever disappointed me and has a, a wide range of uh, different ways you can buy it from um, panels that are really good um, to stretch canvases to rolls you can also buy it you know, with an acrylic uh, blend to it um, so I'm just going to take this excess and put it in one pile here and take that up here and do these little guys right here. This one, this little guy, and this one. Now that's a feature one. I didn't really have to sew any that, but anyway, probably not going to do that one. So. I'm going to cut the film here, let this set for just a few minutes, and uh, come back to it. There we go. I am back, turned on the music, and I'm going to throw some leaf on this. And I'm going to take this pieces that I've got here onto this and um, uh, let's see I've got a kind of a shape just put that shape in there <laughs> all right and I'll put that there take the other piece right there oops All right. 
it. This becomes, this is one of the reasons why I have this. All right. All right, now, gotta put some more medium. I didn't need to do that quite yet, did I? So what I think I will do is, I got my brush full, and there's a fish right there. So I think I'll just put that right there. Set this like this. Go for more solar. You can see this is a fairly uh, fast process. almost used up. very soft and careful. You won't damage the uh, silver. Yeah, I'm at the end of this book. Yeah, this is probably from my another time. So it's not a big piece. silver leaf. Make sure I did in fact use it all. Stuff so thin. And okay. That one's dead. Let me go get another one.
Massive relief is made in Germany. Probably got a couple hours, well, an hour anyway, uh, to use this page for its really light setup on your bit. It's not a In this case, the silver leaf, what there is, either comes on the shelf, it's on the easel, or it goes into a pit, which can be picked up with a vacuum cleaner. You know, it's a big project in the National Santa Fe, where we go leaf to
the staircase that was, had all this carving on it. And, uh, Weaver. And our guys were putting on the, the stuff. And then just literally covered in it.
scrap to do the rest. Got to put the uh, microphone on, but that's okay. You pretty much see what I was doing, and uh, I'm gonna get that right about there. Okay. Last clip, I forgot to turn on the uh, mic or put the mic on, so, but I can't say that I. I can very lightly do this on the uh, surface. Um, so, what I'm going to do is move over here. It looks like today all I'm going to get done uh, really is the um, putting on the leaf and um, our big order from JFM turns out to be two pallets and two big boxes and uh, that's exciting. So I think what I'll do is I'll take this big shape here. This is a pretty loaded brush. This is not, uh, there's a lot of pain in this. You just don't want to skimp on this. Use a lot of medium if you're necessary, but you just don't want to skimp. You want to make sure that it's wet and it's covered. And this won't work too well on a rough canvas, which is typically most of the cotton canvases out there, unless they're smooth surface. Just a heads up on that. Come in. I wouldn't be able to make these nice clean edges and fill the whole thing up. And I guess I'll go ahead and do all the fish. Now, let's see, this is, this is a special outside 
shape. All right, this puppy over. I'm not going to silver leaf these. If I do, I'll do that as a an afterthought. Because they're really underwater. And uh, a lot. And like I said, these odd shapes are mile markers so that I can find out where I am on the reference if necessary. So when I go to this little area, I know what that is. I know, know which part I'm looking at. Because after a while, it gets really tricky. Okay. Get some more lizard orange out. Put it in the same place. Lots of medium and make that one. And since it goes around the corner, well, I'm just going to go ahead. I have to get in front of you, I guess. All right, bring this up and over. And um, I'm not sure what that is. So I'm going to look at the reference. Uh, well, I'm going to add a little bit of leaf there. Okay. Put that down there with this puppy and catch this all of this stuff down here. that. One of the nice things about this too is that uh, you can paint and cover up the silver leaf in its entirety. It's so thin and you won't know it's there. So in that respect uh, it's kind of nice. Get that paint up. Put some white on it. I don't need too much white but I'll put it right there. Generally speaking, the white, if you can't leave it on your palette overnight, it, it just dries enough that it makes it difficult to use. Um, so, putting it in the refrigerator, I don't know if that works, but maybe it does. I've never done it myself. And there's one there. Thought the analysis will tell me where they are. over here and this one is underneath barely noticeable in fact uh, it's got to have more now well, let's go this way this is we're at the end of this there's always more a little more in the brush that and just put all that on there. You'll always find a little more paint. And as I remember, this guy is going underneath. Okay, I think we have all that we need to do to this. And I'm going to take a break because we got a little problem with shipping. 
ended up with two big flats and two big boxes. Cost a bloody fortune. Kind of back again. top here and just stars. Bought a pair of scissors. Um, so I can cut this into some shapes a little easier if I need to. But all I have to do is just uh, go like this. You can make very precise shapes that way. And let's see where I can I put this. Well, I guess the best place is right there. Oops. Be a careful next time. There we go. And I'll just take that full piece. Yeah. Find another place for it. Oops, well, now we got squares, which is okay. I can put that right there. The leaf doesn't cost that much, so you know you're not losing much one way or the other with it. some big spots so I'll just take some full sheets here. Anyways, Scarlett decided to go out the front door when Brenda picked up the mail. Um, so she got a little run. I got three pieces of this. Another way you can do it too is you can do it this way. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll go this way with it. This is another easy way to do it. take this off. You probably you could probably also use this paper to do that with. I well, just learned something. Alright. She wants to go out. Okay, we learned something. Um, cutting it like it was 
actually worked pretty good. So, well, got this all over the place. Got a mess a bit. Anyways, the dog got loose, running down the street. Well, never hit the street. Thank God she um, she has a tendency to mind me in certain things. I don't know where to put this to get the most out of it. Oh heck. Let's put it there. Oh, that does work better. Huh. Okay. Something always comes with it. thing about it is I could take a piece of paper like this and do that. Ah, love it. Would have guessed. Make it get it down much easier and more solid. Oops. Yeah, that's what until it dries you'll get stuff like that. When you touch it too hard. But come back. Put a little more on there. Okay, so Oops. well, that was kind of cool. Didn't have quite enough paint on it. Um, I think I'll put it right here. Ah. There we go. Okay, something to do with these now. Never didn't know what you could do with those. All right, let me go back up to this. I'm tired of fooling with. by doing, by seeing. And that's a fact. Ah. And let's see where that'll fit. I think that'll fit nicely. Right there, maybe. Take that piece. 
piece and just put it here. Come on, Chuck. There we go. Put that there. All right. So, last piece for that. Where? So I just push this down. That really does work. How about that? All right. All right. Get this thing back to where it was. a big piece. Music in the background is YouTube music that I just play on the computer. That way I don't get into any copyright laws or penalties or whatever the heck it is they want to throw at you. sure that I get enough for my lilies. It'll take a couple of days to get new. Well, maybe overnight. Put that there. or the lily pads. <laughs> so that's good. Mm 
a little palette knife it would be good for this. Put them in a pile. I can use them. Let's see. I got that piece. got one sheep but you end up with uh, actually a couple so it's really very very thin It's a little easier to deal with, I guess. I go around, yes. Now you press too hard. I guess it did work. All right. There's a lot to be said for that. This is going to be a loose one. So I'm just going to take pieces. Probably take a ruler, some kind of straight edge, and that would work pretty well. as well. I won't bother with the sides because I can always get those anytime. And piece right there. And I'm gonna have a lot of scrap from all of this. Okay. One little spot I would need to put in. Fifteen minutes. I right, take care of the shipping problem. All right, 
can see the whole thing. I'll leave these in case I run out. I'd rather have the silver leaf up here. I went ahead and uh, took it as far as I could. I also used the uh, little sheets to uh, press this down. And that really did work well. <coughs> so, uh, if nothing else that come out of this, is this is a good way of uh, putting it on. It took about a one pack of silver leaf. I'm going to order another pack. I had a little bit of one, so probably if you had a pack and a half, the whole canvas might take a couple of packs, maybe three. Uh, but I think this is a better way to do it. And I think one of the things I'm going to be able to do, uh, maybe too little too early tomorrow morning, I might be able to do it, but I might be able to uh, take this like that, take that off like that, and then apply it. Looks like I can do it right now, and I think I will. And I might be able to kind of fill up the rest. Should be kind of cool. back down here and see what I can do. And there's a lot like this, actually. You get some pretty big pieces. I can leave it spotty too, like a pattern fish. Don't have to fill it all. Go over here. Because there's some bigger pieces here. Go like that. I just put this on. So I can take that and stick it there. So basically what I'm trying to do now is uh, add it where I can. Well, it's still wet. That does work. Okay, then another thing. That's good. Then I got some pretty big pieces, like right here. That I can use. Like down here. I go up. Make a turn. Hold it and push, pull. Oh, well, it's a little too high for me to, to break it down. That would have been better. So I can actually leave that as a spotted fish, or you know, when a fish that's got some pattern on it. Which kind of nice. Now there's a nice one. Just looking, looking to be cropped. Uh, too many pieces. I'll put it here call it a day on this. Push those down in a bit. Still got some to put there, so I'm going to go find another nice piece. And just put that there. The other piece there. That kind of works. After this dries, I can actually, probably tomorrow morning, I could actually brush this off and I would have whatever wasn't sticky would be gone. So I'm 
let this sit for a little while. Come back in maybe in an hour or so. But that'll be the end of today. The silver leaf has done really quite well. Uh, now I've just got to uh, kind of clean it up. It's pretty much dry underneath. Um, you know. Now I'm going to be swimming in this uh, silver. It'll be all over the place. You can see it floating down. So with any luck, it'll go down to the pit. Scarlet will decide to eat it. And uh, I just mentioned her name, and here she comes. Anyways, this is the first thing that's really got to happen. And this one, I think I'm going to do the background uh, first, leave the uh, silver alone for just a bit. Um, yeah, this is working out fine. It's just floating on down there. Vacuum will get it up. There are other ways to do this, but. Um, What's left will just mix up with the paint. Probably should take it outside and do it, but it's too cold. Whoa. All right, you two. Yeah, it's a little not quite ready yet. So we're just raining silver. Too bad it wasn't real silver. But I don't think real silver would work with this too well. This looks nice through here. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get back. This is not something you're going to eat. that shape up there that I wanted to keep. So, and, yeah. another area that we wanted. And the, uh, I think the painting has a title, Moon Glow. We still have a temporary one. Okay. Now, I've got this little dust buster. Yeah, I could have that. does a pretty good job of picking it up. Not sure what I'll do with this. Let's just bring this back up where it was. This will be my test video. Um, get started here. Okay, this is the uh, second day on it. Um, the silver leaf has done really quite well. Uh, now I've just got to uh, kind of clean it up. It's 
pretty much dry underneath. Um, you know, now I'm going to be swimming in this uh, silver and be all over the place. And you can see it floating down. Any luck, it'll go down to the pit. Scarlet won't decide to eat it. And uh, I just mentioned her name, and here she comes. Anyways, this is the first thing that's really got to happen. And this one, I think I'm going to do the background uh, first, leave the uh, silver alone for just a bit. Um, Floating on down there. Vacuum will get it up. There are other ways to do this, but um, this is okay. What's left will just mix up with the paint. Probably should take it outside and do it, but it's too cold. Whoa. All right, you two. It's a little not quite ready yet. So we're just raining silver. That's too bad it wasn't real silver. But I don't think real silver would work with this too well. This looks nice through here. Come on, scat back. This is not something you're going to eat. And there's that shape up there that I wanted to keep. I think the painting has a title, Moon Glow. We still have a temporary one. Okay. Now, I've got this little dust buster. Yeah, I could have that. Pretty good job of picking it up. Mm -hmm.